Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on Cosatunes plus Sonos with endless possibilities. Today, we're going to look at integrating Cosatunes with Sonos. So to complete the integration with Sonos, the first step is to is the physical connection between the Sonos Connect and the Matrix Amplifier and the Cosatune CT2. So we have the Sonos Connect uh, depicted here up in the left hand corner. We have our Cosatune CT2 music server on the right hand side and then below we have our Cosatune CT 6x6 matrix amplifier. So we typically configure the Cosatune CT2 music server taking the two streams out of the music server and feeding them into the matrix amplifier. So we take player one and we feed it into source input one and then we take player two and we feed it into source input two. Now the next step is to actually connect the Sonos Connect. So we're going to connect the uh, Sonos Connect to the next available source input, which is source input 3. So we take the audio out of the Sonos Connect device and connect it to source input 3 on our matrix amplifier. So once we've done this, this is the only physical connections that we have to do as far as the Sonos Connect is concerned. So the next step is for us to go into our CasaTunes administration utility, which we call Casa Setup, and actually configure this source 3 that we just added. So let's take a look how we do that. So this is the Casa Setup utility, and as you can see, we've already selected the controller type, which is the CasaTunes CT 6x6 multi zone controller. But as you know, the solution also works with a bunch of different matrix systems. And here's an example of all the different matrix systems that we support. So there's quite, quite, quite a few. But the step that we want to do here is we actually want to go and configure our Sonos Connect source as the input, as the third source on our matrix. As you can see, again, by default out of the box, we've configured player 1 and player 2 to be the streams coming from the Cosatunes music server. And we want to configure source 3 now to be the Sonos Connect device. So we select source 3, we'll give it a name. Uh, typically you would give this the, the Sonos name that you gave the Sonos Connect device when you configured it with a Sonos app. So in my case, I've called it Sonos. So we'll go ahead and, and set it to Sonos. And now what we need to do is we just need to change the source type. So we're going to change the source type to be of type Sonos. And at this point, um, because this is the first time that I've used a Sonos on with this music server, it's going to ask us to authorize Cosatunes to be able to control the device. So we'll go ahead and we'll select to authorize Cosatunes which will take us through the Sonos authorization process. So we'll go ahead and continue. Now we enter in our Sonos credentials, sign in. And now it's asking us for permission to allow Cosatunes to control your Sonos system. So we want to say OK. So that completes the authorization process. We've now successfully uh, requested that Sonos allow Cosatunes to control uh, the Sonos equipment. So we'll go ahead and close this window and go back to Cosatunes setup. Now you can see that Cosatunes has been authorized and the last step here is for us to configure which Sonos device or speaker is connected to Source 3. So in this case it's our Sonos Connect device and as I mentioned before we had named it Sonos so I'm going to go ahead and select that. So at this point now we have, so this completes our setup of Sonos. And so now we've set up our Sonos Connect so that um, we can now access music from Sonos on that Sonos Connect, but we can also integrate with all the additional speakers uh, in the house. So we can play music off a Sonos device and listen it to not only on Sonos speakers, but through all our wired speakers as well. And if we if we go to, to the rooms, we'll now see that in addition to our wired rooms, we also get to see all the Sonos speakers out there. So in this case, I have a dining room that is a Sonos Play 5, and I have a master closet that's a Sonos 1. And that completes setup for Sonos.